some party crasher. Loki, Ronin, and Green Goblin playable in the Disney Infinity 2.0 edition. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Level Start Podcast, part of the Play Legit Network, your only source for gaming and real talk. I'm your host, T42. Slightly different camera angle. I'm sure you've noticed. You probably wouldn't have noticed. Whatever. Who cares? Let's talk about stuff. It's uh, It's been a week. A lot has gone on. There's uh, a lot of different talk in the news on different gaming fronts. One of the biggest ones that's going on right now is the fact that ESPN had aired some of the Dota 2 International. And apparently the network is delighted that this has happened because it has generated a lot of buzz. According to a... Uh, an anonymous source apparently with from within the company they're talking about uh, expanding their coverage of esports through ESPN they're wanting to uh, get on on the uh, the bandwagon and dramatically expand its coverage of esports events which I think is really cool because I, I do go, enjoy going out to uh, my local pubs and, and sports bars and stuff like that and having a few beers with my buddies and occasionally we like to watch some of the sports that are on. But if they had esports available through like ESPN that I could get my hands on pretty pretty regularly, I'm I know me and a lot of my buddies would actually go uh, to these venues to watch those things. I think this is really cool, and I would really like to see it more here uh, in the states because I know in other countries this kind of stuff gets broadcast on television, especially in South Korea. And I would love to see something like this, um, you know, around here. Now, I know that in the past, many years ago, there were some local stations regionally in the States that did some stuff. But again, that was regionally. If something like ESPN was to pick this up, I think that would be really cool. I know a lot of uh, people who are watching ESPN, there was a whole, like, tweet thing that came out. And people were confused as to why their ESPN2 was showing kids playing video games. They're not athletes and all this other stuff. And I find it funny that they say these things because that same uh, ESPN also broadcasts, you know, poker, you know, championships and stuff like that. And that's just a bunch of guys sitting around the table playing cards, right? It's a mental strategy. Video games are very much along the same lines. So, whatever. I think it's cool. I'm looking forward to it. What do you guys think? Uh, post in the comments what you guys think about this. I'd like to see what you guys have to say on uh, that. Speaking of professional gaming, there's a really cool article from Kotaku about professional gaming being hard. And this comes from an interview with the uh, manager for Team Newbie who won the Dota 2 Internationals talking about um, how when attempting to go pro only one in a thousand people can even make it and only one in ten thousand become a top player from that and i think that's pretty crazy the, those are the odds and they there's a really cool article go check it out it talks about all the problems that players run into be it from family from people not taking them seriously to all kinds of stuff so what do you guys think about about it like uh gaming as a professional sport I know that a lot of times, like they say here, the, the guys wake up in their team house at 1130 in the morning. They eat brunch, which 1130 is kind of late for brunch. You might as well just eat a lunch. Uh, then they start training at 2, and then uh, they stop for dinner at 630, and then they game for another 6 hours, and they go to bed at 2 a.m. 
and then they start the process all over again the next day. And they said this can be really stressful for the guys. Most of the stuff, of course, these are young men, you know, in their late teens, early 20s, with not um, a plethora of life experiences other than their gaming career. And so a lot of the mental pressures surely um, can be understandable for a lot of these guys. What are you guys thinking? What do you guys think about that? I want to know. I want to know what you guys think. Moving on from that. <laughs> Payday the Heist is going to go free for one day in October. For 24 hours, pick up Payday the Heist on Steam um, on October the 18th and enjoy playing that. Everybody likes a free game, so go there. Also, if you go to Origin right now on Origin, you can get the entirety of The Sims 2 for free. You just got to put in their little code. Uh, when you do the, uh, if you go through Origin on the PC, it's the. Um, Put in, put in the codes for whatever, like redeem a game or whatever. And in there, you put in a certain code and you can just find it. It's on the web. Go look it up. You can find that code, put it in, get the game for free. Plus all the expansions, you know, it's uh, it's pretty awesome. I went ahead and got it. I don't know if I'm ever going to play it, but it's a free game. Might as well pick it up. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> all right, moving on from that, guys. Professional gaming. Let's. Uh, we've, I've talked a lot about Dota 2. But I'm going to briefly hit here on League of Legends. We have a trailer for League of Legends. It's a, it's a nice lengthy one. I think you guys are really going to like it. I certainly enjoyed it. I don't even play the game, but I can certainly admire it. Check out this trailer for League of Legends.
All right, guys, that was a pretty awesome trailer. I certainly enjoyed it. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this week's episode. A lot of uh, quick things that I was just going to hit on from that point. There's a lot of really cool mods that are coming out for different games right now. There's a whole Portal 2 mod that's out there that pretty much makes it uh, an entirely new game. That's a lot of fun. Uh, go look up that. As well as if you guys want to have a chance to play with some of us, some of the Play Legit guys... At least on the PC market as of right now, we're, we're looking to get into the, some of the console stuff eventually. We have some, some groups and stuff made on Facebook. Look for Sons of Thunder group on Facebook as well as on Steam. We do have a Sons of Thunder group. That's, uh, that's the name of our gaming group for Play Legit on PC right now. And uh, look us up. You can see us by our tag. It's uh, equal, op equal sign, open bracket, soft, open bracket, equal sign... You'll see us there. That's our tag. We have raid call. Look us up. You know, you know, hit us up for information if you guys want to play with us on PC. We're also going to be doing some console stuff eventually. I know because um, I'm pretty much the big PC guy, but a lot of the other guys and gals, Miss Throwback, um, are big console gamers as well. So we do uh, have a lot of people play Mario Kart 8, for example. So uh, I'm looking at trying to organize some Mario Kart 8 stuff, and maybe we can get you guys in on that action. I think that would uh, that'd be pretty cool. So anyway, that's it for our, our, this week, guys. That's our show. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on Twitter, at PlayLegit, PlayLegit.net, your only source for gaming and real talk. This has been Level Start. Take it easy, guys.